<clears throat> Welcome to our study in the book of Daniel. And today I have a surprise for you. We are not having a study. We're going to have a trivia quiz. Uh, we took a week off from our Bible study for Easter Sunday, and we'll finish off with chapter 12 this coming. And so to fill the gap for those that can't live without Daniel, here is a trivia quiz. Uh, we only have 20 questions in this quiz. Uh, I want you to see how well you do. Uh, the answer will follow the question on the next slide. And what I will do is I will read the question, and I'll wait about five or six seconds, and then I'll give you the answer. So my recommendation is, if you don't know right off the bat, uh, if you want to just pause the video and think about it, do it. That would be probably the best thing you could do. All right, so here we go. Number one, how many chapters are there in the book of Daniel? And the answer is 12. Number two, Daniel had three friends taken with him to Babylon as servants. What are their names? So I would take either or both of these sets of three. Their Hebrew names were Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Nebuchadnezzar gave them their Babylonian names, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Those are the ones you remember. Three, who were the two Babylonian kings that Daniel served under? All right, Nebuchadnezzar and Belshazzar. Four, Nebuchadnezzar had a dream of a tall statue of what four metals was this statue made? Gold, silver, bronze or brass would be acceptable, and iron. And a follow-up question, what four metals did those empires represent? Well, the gold was Babylon, silver, the Persian Median. Uh, the bronze was the Greek, and iron was the Rome. Six, how did the higher officials of the Babylonian Empire get Nebuchadnezzar to throw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fiery furnace? And the answer was this, they lied and tricked the king. Uh, this batch of people did not like Daniel. They hated him. They hated the Jews. And all throughout the book, we read about their trickery and their lies and their deceit. Not just the Nebuchadnezzar, but some of the other kings too. King Belshazzar had a great feast for thousands to attend. It would not go well for him. What was the main sin that Belshazzar committed to cost him his throne and empire? Well, the sin was he defiled the temple vessels of the Lord. Uh, the golden candlestick was, was one of the ones taken, instruments and vessels taken out of the holy place, and it was in the banquet hall. In fact, the writing, handwriting on the wall was right above it. But all the other bowls and utensils and things like that, Nebuchadnezzar just put them away, locked them down, and said, we will not touch these. His son pulled them out. And that night, he lost the empire in his life. Here's a super extra credit question for you. Fill in these blanks. And I'll tell you what, for every one you get, the super extra credit is if you got something wrong before this, uh, for each one you get, you can count one as an extra plus for you. So here it is, mine, blank, blank, blank. So the first word should give you a clue.
All right, here's the answer. Mine, mine again. Tekel, Abharsen. And I would not t take off for spelling, but I don't think you're writing, you're probably thinking. Here's nine. What are the two main Persian Mede kings that Daniel served under? The answer is Cyrus the Great and Darius the Mede. Ten, what is the highest office that Daniel would hold that the Lord elevated him to? He would hold the same position under all four kings. The answer is president. Uh, governor, I would accept too, but when he was called that, it was higher than the, the position that other men and Daniel's three friends would hold. So his position was number three in the entire realm, always. Number one was the king. Number two was the king's son or the king's father, depending on Oftentimes, the father would step down and let his son reign and still remain uh, in the palace to help him acclimate into the realm. And number three was Daniel. And as you can see, number four were Daniel's three friends. As, as I'll say, they were super governors. They were above other governors of the empire. In chapter seven, Daniel has a vision of four beasts. Can you name them? And here's a hint. Each one's a combination or has something to do with another beast. So if all you do is think of the main beast, uh, that's fine. Uh, we'll accept that. First is the lion with eagle wings, the bear with three ribs. I have no idea what animal that would have been from in its mouth. Leopard with four wings like a bird and a horrible beast with 10 horns. 12, we get our first solid prophecy concerning the future Antichrist in this chapter. What thing is he initially represented by? The answer is, the, he's, he's represented by a little horn coming out of the ten terrible horns of the terrible beast. And he is the eleventh horn. After Daniel survived a night in the lion's den, what happened to the high officials that tricked King Darius into putting him there? So they also, through deceit and larceny and lies, tricked Darius into doing that. So what happened? to those that did the trickery. They and their families were tossed into the lion's den where they were all eaten. Daniel prophesied that during the Greek empire, there would rise a ruler that would be the blueprint of our future Antichrist. What was this man's name? Antiochus Epiphanes IV. Daniel had several visits from angels throughout the book. Two of them we know by name. Can you name them? Michael and Gabriel. 16, true or false? Chapters 11 and 12 have a total of 10 prophecies given. The answer is false. There are actually over a hundred prophecies. 17. Can you name five prophecies from the book of Daniel that have not been fulfilled to date? By that I mean the time that you and I are living in right now, not the time of Daniel. Can you name five? I will list you eight here in a minute, and you may have some that are not on there. But come up with five. 
And this is one you may want to pause this while you think. So I'm going to go to them right now. Number one, there is an unspecified block of time between the destruction of the temple, the Romans burn it in 70 AD, and the appearance of Antichrist. That block of time that is unspecified, has no beginning, no end, is the church age or the age of grace. We are there. Number two, the appearance of the man of sin or the, the, the willful man, uh, Antichrist. Number three, the seven-year tribulation. That's what we would call it, but it was a time of Jacob's troubles. Number four, Antichrist's peace treaty with Israel. So that means the first half, the first three and a half years of the tribulation, right after it starts, Antichrist shows up on a white horse and he makes a tree, peace treaty with Israel. So we have the whole, the whole tribulation period. It's Daniel's 70th week. Uh, mentioned five, Antichrist breaks the treaty with Israel after three and a half years and declares all-out war on Israel. Jesus returns in power at the end of the tribulation with his saints. He defeats Satan and Antichrist. Jesus sets up his thousand-year reign on earth, and amen. And number eight, eternity future, where there's no more time after the thousand-year reign. 18, complete this verse from Daniel 12, 3. And they that be blank shall shine like the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to blank as the blank forever and blank. The answer is, and they that be wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. 19. True or false, Daniel spent from his early teen years to the end of his life serving Babylonian Persian kings and his people in bondage, never returning to Jerusalem. And the answer, that is true. He never went home. He died there. In fact, there is a place marked where, the, where he was buried. 20, in our last one, an angel came to visit Daniel and called him a, quote, man, blank, blank of God, unquote. He's called that a couple of times. So our answer to that, those two blanks is this. He's greatly beloved of God. Greatly and beloved are the words that go there. Daniel 10, 11. So how do you do? How did you do? And uh, do you know what? However many you got or however many you missed, it's a great challenge. It's a great re review of the book of Daniel. And uh, so in, in some ways, everybody wins. If we get challenged and we've learned something and picked it up and said, oh, yeah, I remember that. So I want to thank you for viewing with us. Um, I want to encourage you to check out uh, my playlist on YouTube. Uh, there are tons. There's over 800 videos up now. And you'll find after this week all of the book of Daniel and the sidebar things that I did. Uh, there's like 26 videos on Daniel. And you'll find uh, Americana, things about America, as well as Bible trivia quizzes. Just check it out. I think you'll, I think you'll find something else that will catch your attention and say, great, I, I need to listen to that. So may God bless you. And once again, thank you for tuning in and watching things about the book of Daniel.